Hello, in this video I'm going to explain to you how to update the name servers associated with your domain that you registered through Google Domains. If you haven't done it already, you've got to have a domain that's associated with Google. I won't talk about this in this video, but in a nutshell, you basically go to domains.google and if you're not logged into your Gmail account already or your Google Workspace account, you'll find a prompt up here that allows you to log in. You just use the same credentials for your email account, right? Enter or search on a domain that you're looking for. It'll step you through the process where you can purchase the domain. And once it's done, you'll be able to see your domains. You just, I'm already logged in, so I'm gonna click my domains and it'll take me to a page where I can see all the domains associated with this particular um, Gmail account, all right? Not much to see here other than what I paid for the domain. And when it renews, privacy protection on, there's no services associated with it. Services would be like a website or email. Okay, so we just want to update the name servers. And the first step is to go here to, to what's called the DNS settings. Or dom DNS stands for domain name system. And the domain name system is just a put it really simply it's a list of settings that dictate how traffic to your website or your server or your application arrives all right I just keep that really simple so your name servers you might be wondering what those are those name servers allow you to access that DNS um, wherever your name servers resolve that is where you're going to be able to access your DNS. So it's important that you don't just randomly set these things up. The, the settings that you get, the name server list that you get from your typically your web hosting company, those are very specific and they determine how things like email will behave. So you got to be very careful when you're updating these. Make sure you have a really deep understanding of what you're updating and what systems will be impacted by it. And those are <laughs> those are those are any kind of a system that is associated with your uh, domain name, all right? So let's say, for example, you have you have a Google Workspace account, but you're going to update your name server so they resolve to your web hosting account at GoDaddy or Bluehost or you know any of the any any hosting company. You better also understand how to transfer MX records and I'm not going to get into that in this video You've got to transfer your MX records to wherever your name servers are resolving to so if it's a Bluehost account and I'm not endorsing any particular web hosting company here people I'm just using random names so hopefully you can relate to what I'm saying you're gonna to have to update you're gonna to have to copy records over all right so Let's go into the DNS settings, all right? Because this is our first step to updating name servers. And there's not a lot to be seen here. Um, when I clicked on this, it already landed me on custom name servers. Normally, it doesn't do that. It'll say default name servers. And in your default name server settings is a list of custom records. These are your custom DNS records. There's nothing here. But it's pretty common to see a long list, 30 records, 40 records. Okay, and in there you're going to find things that are that pertain to your email. If you subscribe, if you're subscribing to like Outlook Mail, or if you're subscribing to Google Workspace, you're going to have very specific email settings that called MX records that you're going to have to copy over. You have to find those. I'm not going to get in that. I'm just giving you a clue there. Um, you can always reach out to me. With questions I'm happy to answer them but I'm kind of digressing here a little bit but I just want you to understand the importance of, of this update that you're about to roll out so we have a list of name servers that you let's say acquired from your hosting company and now you need to update those settings so where do we do that in uh, domains.google so it'll be right here so if you go into this DNS settings, you go to custom name servers. Mine is already active. I've already done it. 
I've already set it up here. I didn't really want to. Mm -hmm. I bought this domain just because I wanted to do this video to help you out. And well, there's no way for me to roll it back. I don't, I don't, I, I, once I enter them, it, they're in there. So I want to show you where they are. These are your domain. Your domain is using custom name servers. So here's the list of custom name servers that I entered. If you need to edit that, you go in here, click manage name servers. Now let's see, you haven't, let's just say brand new domain, you haven't added any name servers or custom name servers to do the domain. When you log into this custom name servers, you'll be presented with these inputs. And I think out of the box, it just comes with two inputs, but you can add another, if you click this, if it's say if I had four or if I had five name servers, I can add up to five name servers. I only have three that are associated with Parsons Hosting. And entering them is pretty simple. You know, let's just say, as an example, this is an empty field, ns1.serverparsons.com, done. And then ns2.serverparsons.com, ns3.serverparsons.com. Do not enter my name servers in my example here. Don't do that. You have to get your name server settings from your hosting company. Now, if you're already with Parsons Hosting, this will work. This will point your domain at our server, our network, and from there it can be associated with your hosting account. And you can also access your DNS settings where things like subdomains can be created, okay? Um, so once this is done, you have this all in place, you click save. And then in sometimes in the upper right hand corner here, let me see if I can make this happen. Let's do this. Don't pay attention to what I'm doing. Don't look. All right. Let's take a couple steps back. DNS settings. When you go here for the first time, you haven't entered any custom name servers, you're going to be using Google's name servers. What do Google's name servers look like? This is what they look like right here. NS1-NS-Cloud-A1 Google Domains.com. And this allows you to manage all of your DNS from within Google, which a lot of people like to do. It's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But sometimes we like to have our own custom name server so we can manage our DNS somewhere else. So we go up here, we enter custom name servers, and in here will be presented typically the first time you bounce in here, you're going to get this list of blank inputs. And as I said, you enter your name server here, it's here and here. You click save right and it says your domain isn't using these settings this is important this is why I back went you know I back stepped a little bit here you want to switch to these settings so you click switch and then once you switched now your domain registered with Google domains is using these name servers and that means this domain will resolve to your new hosting account they'll be able to incorporate it there and access all the DNS all right with these with these settings implemented here at Google domains I can no longer this is important click here I can no longer manage custom records for, from within Google domains I would have to go to my hosting provider and access my hosting account there and from there I can access the domains and then the, you know, the DNS records associated with that domain there alright so um, how long does it take like I mean once I update my name servers is it instant nope it's pretty common that you may find the website doesn't operate correctly for up to six hours maybe a day or more it just depends sometimes not with Google domains but Actually, it, it does happen with Google Domains. They oftentimes will send a confirmation email out. Do you want to do this? Do you authorize it? And so the faster you get to that email, um, and that's an email that's associated with the domain's contact info, the admin, you know, the admin info. That, you know, when, you set up any, when you set up any domain, you're going to be asked for the admin or technical contact info. And um, 
put an email address in there obviously that you can access at a moment's notice. If you don't confirm with Google or your hosting company but specifically Google typically those um, these these updates they will go out it just takes some time for it to propagate the web I use this checker here it's um, called what's my dns.net there's other ones out there I have no affiliation with this website I'm not endorsing it I'm just using it as an example and it's here where you can check your status I checked this a little while ago and there was nothing there right just a few a couple instances here where we can see this domain Parsons hosting dash dev dot com is resolving I'm gonna search it again and see what I get nothing <laughs> so there's not much it takes a while it can take 45 minutes an hour four hours so when you do update your name servers and let's say you're doing it to a website that's already live a production site you want to think carefully about when you do this because it takes everybody out when you do your, you know your users your visitors they won't be able to access it they won't be able to buy stuff if you're selling things and even even then like even if most of these are populated with the name servers let's say like you're in the US and you see San Jose it resolves Kansas City grapevine Texas it still may not work so it's safe to say that the website can be expected to operate it, its operation will be unstable for up to a 24-hour period maybe not maybe you'll be lucky and you'll be done in a couple hours but just be aware you want to do this at an off-peak time Okay, um, that's it. So reach out to me, parsonshosting.com, lower left hand corner. You can schedule a phone call with us. A lot of times you'll get me right on the phone and I'll be able to help you. Happy to. Um, and it doesn't mean you have to have a hosting account with us. We're happy to take you know, 10, 15 minutes of our time and answer some questions for you that will help this all kind of work out. Okay, thank you very much. Talk to you soon.